Hey guys, I'm Corey Bysted with Guarantee RV. I'm here to show you the Chaparral 284 RL. It's a great lightweight fifth wheel for most trucks. So uh, let's take a look inside. All right guys, so as you head up this nice reliable step, you can enter right into the kitchen. So this is the kitchen that gives you everything that you need. Um, it gives you all the basics. There's plenty of counter space between where the cooktop is, where this island is, and even this place over here that's perfect for like a Keurig or a coffee pot or whatever you're doing over there. Um, it has a pantry right beside that area that I'm talking about. And there's plenty of cabinet storage all above. Um, and, and there's um, drawers in the island and next to the, um, the cooktop. So as you come into the living room, you can see you have these two um, recliners. They heat up, they recline, uh, they massage, they, uh, well, they light up too, which is kind of funny, but um, it's awesome. It, it lights up your cup holder and the feet underneath it. So um, that's awesome. And then you have your couch right on the other side. Now this actually does turn into like a queen size bed and then it packs away. So it's like the trifold sort of thing. It's not a jack or it's not a air bed. So um, that's awesome too. So your TV is massive and that's the first thing that literally everybody points out. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is the same size as the TV in my house and um, it's very similar. So you have this whole fireplace and you have storage on the sides and you have this um, disc drive thing and it, it puts, you can put in um, DVDs, CDs, it does the radio, it does headphones, it does an aux jack, it does USB if you want to plug movies in, uh, it does everything you need. It, I'm pretty sure that it does Bluetooth as well, so that's awesome too. You have speakers in your living room, you have speakers on the exterior. So if you come over into the dining room, you have a table. This has an extension leaf, you get four chairs, and the table is bolted down. And I really like that there's like the nice big window right next to the table and right behind your head. So it kind of just gives you that nice feeling like you're enjoying a little bit out, out of your rig. You're popped out in this slide. It gives a good vibe. Now the ceiling height, this is a mid-sized profile rig. So it tapers. So it's, it's kind of the perfect height in the bedroom. And then you drop down the steps and it's very tall. And then as you go to the back, it slowly goes downhill that helps for water that helps for driving so your lower profile and that also helps with weight so that's awesome as well this is an awesome rig so when you go into the bathroom you have plenty of space this is a very good bathroom very good shower you can move your arms so um give you a chance to see what it looks like in here and then your bedroom so this rig is supposed to be the low profile kind of rig um, lower down so because of that if they wanted to give you an exterior storage space they have to bump up the bed a little bit so there's a little step underneath the bed on the sides so you got to step onto the step to get into your bed so that's the reason for the step is because they wanted to give you storage underneath on the exterior and that's some of the limitations you're going to see on a lower profile smaller lightweight shorter rig is they're going to kind of have to get creative there. So I'd rather have more storage on the exterior and just a little step to help me get up into my bed than to have no step at all, a lower mattress, and terrible storage. So that that's I feel like they did a good job. And when you lift up the mattress, um, there's storage under there too. So you really can go camping for a really long time in a rig like this. Some of the outside features... This has full auto leveling system. It actually remembers your truck's hitching height, which is super great because that means you don't need a spotter to figure out if it needs to go higher or lower while you back up looking out your rear window. So hitching onto this thing and going is half the time is hitching onto a trailer bumper pull um, and it's a one person job. You don't really need a spotter. So, and it's got, like I said, the full auto leveling system. So you just hit the button and it thinks and gets you all perfect when you have parked at your camping spot. Um, and it's built with Asdale. So what Asdale is, is typically a trailer or a fifth wheel. 
made with fiberglass is going to be laminated and glued nice and tight against wood. Now, if you've ever walked into somebody's um, old RV and it smelled kind of like mildewy and kind of a little bit moldy, that doesn't happen on this rig. It's not really that rig. Um, that's because the walls don't have wood in this one. So Asdale is the replacement of wood. And so it's going to give you that nice composite, strong, um, impervious to rot, decay, mold, mildew, delamination in its entire lifetime. I actually have a sample of it in my office, a sample of this composite Asdale that's replacing wood. It's in water and it's been in there for three years and it looks the same as it did brand new. So that's awesome. Even if this rig did leak, it would not matter like it would as much for you to handle it timely like it would on a wood-based trailer. And um, that's just a fact. Now, you should handle it timely because that's just general maintenance. But just saying, this is a way more reliable, way less maintenance kind of rig. You can kind of leave it there during the winter a little bit longer um, and then take it out in the summer. And you don't really have to be concerned about the upkeep of your rig. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions on any of my products at all, you can just give me a call and I'll help you to the best of my ability. Um, it's 541-735-1535. Uh, Thank you.